Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Well, this new Omicron variant seems to be spreading quite rapidly and there's a lot of hype behind it. And a lot of people are wondering, is this the one? Is this the one that is gonna bring us all to our knees or is this just another thing that they're hyping up and distracting us uh, from other things that's going on or maybe it's both. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell and we want to get into that a little bit. There's a few things I want to talk about. I know we talked about this a little on Friday but I think that this is something that's worthy of speaking of again. Uh, so let's get this started. I want to mention uh, before I get started, if you're interested in like a place to get online and communicate with other like-minded people, um, a, a social media network that's that's not monitored and not censored and that you're, they're not stealing all your information and using it, uh, we have set up a website here uh, at the Prepared Homestead. It's tphnetwork.com. There'll be a link uh, in the description description below and you can go over there and sign up there's almost 2,000 people over there and there's just communication and, and people sharing and talking and information going on all the time it's it's set up very much like a, a Facebook type of format uh, and a lot of people are liking it you can share personal things uh, talk about stuff meet people all kinds of stuff and it, it works pretty well I mean I wouldn't say it's as good as the big websites but for what we've done there I think it's it's functioning quite well and and certainly serving the purpose and a lot of good feedback from people they really liking it so uh, down in the link it's free that's another thing it's free you don't have to pay anything to get on it there I'm you're not gonna get spammed with advertisements and everything because it's something that that I own. It's not some other third party uh, that that's doing this that we're using. All right, so it's getting crazy, right? At least they're trying to make you think it is. I mean, if you get on the news in the last two to three days, uh, whether you're online or on TV, it's it's just wall to wall this new variant out of South Africa, and it's just spreading like a wildfire. I saw one thing saying that the that it's 500%, uh, they believe, 500% more infectious than the previous, the Delta, uh, and that it's just, it, it's just spreading everywhere. You know, they're talking, you know, it's like every moment you get online, there's a, another report of more people, you know, more cases in this country and in that country, and this country's shutting its borders down, and this country's ending all, you know, traffic, air traffic coming in from, you know, South African countries, and, you know, on and on, and it's kind of interesting. This thing hasn't been around that long and they've already devised ways of determining which variant it is i, I don't know i'm not a scientist uh so i guess we're just supposed to believe what they tell us and just move on with our lives um is this the one i don't know i will say this it does seem that they're they're pushing this one um a lot more uh they're they're hyping it up and uh, it does, in, in my mind anyways, it does fit with what I would assume that they would do at this time of the year as how the, the, the previous ones kind of, you know, the people are kind of tired of it. Uh, and, and it's, it's almost like the, the push for the thing has kind of plateaued. So they need something, they need something, uh, more motivation to get people to get this. There's already, uh, the British prime minister was talking yesterday about how, um, well, we don't really know that this is going to be that effective, but we should all just run out and get boosters anyways. Just, just go ahead and get them anyways. And we're going to push for that. And that, that's their, their goal, they were saying, over the next few weeks is to push for millions of more people to get their boosters, uh, even though there's no evidence whatsoever that it will actually be effective. I mean, we are doing everything based on science, right? I mean, that's what they tell us, just trust the science. And so apparently the science is, uh, we don't know if this thing is going to work, but you should just get it anyways. That's so scientific, right? Um, we're, we're already hearing about countries, you know, the potential of shutting down things um, more than just their borders. Um, I suspect as this thing goes, if this is the one, if this is the one, it may be not, and I don't mean the one to, it, to be all end all, but I'm saying the one to, to reinstate 
all the lockdowns and, and all the restrictions and stuff, because we really didn't see it that much with this previous Delta one thing. Uh, but this one, I think, is going to be the one that they're going to try to, you know, reinstate uh, more mandates, more lockdowns, more restrictions. Probably a lot of it will be focused on people that don't have this. Uh, now, all that I've said just then is mostly based on my, my own opinion. Um, there's also the possibility that this is just a big smokescreen. I mean, we have uh, a very important court case going on. Ghislaine Maxwell, you know, the, the old buddy from Jeffrey Epstein. And you all probably are quite well aware of that. Uh, the judge made a little ruling on the case that there's a complete gag order. There, there's not allowed to be any media in the room. There's not allowed to be any spectators in the room. Uh, they're not allowed to have any electronic devices in the room, no recording devices. They've even banned the, uh, the, the, the attorneys, the prosecutor and the defense attorneys from having like laptops in the room. They, they don't want anything. They don't want anything in the room that could possibly record uh, what's going on. Is there anybody out there that hears this and just kind of keeps on moving along with their life and thinks that that's just normal? I mean, since when have they... I mean, it's not that unusual to not allow a camera, although in the last decade or so, it seems like every major court case has a camera in it. Um, but they're not allowing anything. I mean, they're putting some really extreme measures on making sure that whatever is being said and shown inside that courtroom does not leave that courtroom. I mean, just a couple of weeks ago, we had the, the case up in Wisconsin and it was just wall to wall coverage and, and live and, and interviews and documentaries and all about it. And then now we get to this court case that, um, it could have some pretty uh, extensive repercussions of the things that could be discovered in it, and no one can know a thing about it. So uh, it's interesting that that's happening at the same time. Uh, we're still dealing with this um, up in Wisconsin, the, the uh, Christmas uh, parade uh, terrorist attack, Christmas parade massacre uh, that's being pushed as an accident. That's right. Uh, they're telling everyone that on the news that it was just an accident. It's just an accident, don't worry about it. I mean, yeah, some people got killed and some people got injured, but it's just an accident. So uh, it's, it's interesting that the news is focused on something that may not be that important, but they're sure making us think that it's important, while things that are kind of important are being kind of, well, you know, pushed under the rug. I mean, but that's how we do things around here. I, I do want to bring up one thing that has absolutely nothing to do with what we're talking about. And I only want to do this because it's it's almost humorous, okay? Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna completely interrupt and, and, and do something that has not, look at this, look at this article from the Wall Street Journal. I, when I saw this, I could have swore it was from like the Babylon Bee or the Onion or some other satirical website, but it wasn't. This is the Wall Street Journal. And they're talking about how uh, businesses are uh, hiding and shrinking the size of the price uh, of, of food and other items in a store, hoping that people won't look at the price, right? You know, we, they don't want you to know that you're paying more money. They don't want you to see that your the meat prices has gone up 30 to 50% since a year to two years ago. They don't want you to see that everything in the grocery store, the prices have gone up substantially. And what hasn't gone up in price, the, the amount of the content has shrunk um, through shrinkflation. And so this article here is actually flat out saying it, that, that they're trying to, you know, print the 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 price little tiny price or to hide it in a certain way so that maybe you just won't see it and and hopefully the the consumers won't get too upset over the fact that <laughs> we're dealing with severe inflation right now the worst inflation of any of our lifetimes uh possibly worse than than something we would have seen back during the great depression uh i i think that some people uh and certainly in, in some sectors of the market uh the inflation Inflation is worse than it was back in the 70s. So uh, that's going on also. What does all this mean? Um, I think my gut is telling me, and I could be wrong, and I'm, I'm right now letting you know, I admit that I could be wrong, and if I am, 
I'll admit to it. I'll own up to it. But I think that this new variant is going to be the one uh, that they're going to try to push to reinstate all this stuff and to further along their agenda. It's just starting to feel that way. Uh, it's been a few days now uh, that they've been, you know, talking about it in the news and and there's they've not lightened up on the hype from it uh it's just it, it's like this it's like a movie almost when you when you get on on any kind of news website or you get on twitter or anything uh it's it's literally like some kind of you know horrible epidemic movie of just moment by moment updates of of tracking where this thing is and what it's doing and what it could do and how bad it could be uh even though uh, the few scientists that supposedly has examined and tested and studied this thing, this new variant, is saying that it doesn't look like it's really any worse uh, than anything else, that it's not going to make you any more sick, that it may be more contagious, but that's about it. Um, so I think that we're going we're gonna to see that. This, is this the, the dark winter? that we've all been talking about? Is this the, the thing, that the catalyst that's going to push us into that? Because as we've all seen in the last year and a half, almost two years now, that um, these measures that they could and, and very possibly will put into place will vastly affect the entire, uh, and, and entire everything, the, the stock market, the economy, the supply chain, uh, everything. And we're already dealing with all of those things on you know very very shaky uh ground i mean it's 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 like every one of them are just feel like they're just about to crumble um it'll be interesting to see what the how the stock market you know they're they're already trying to spin it number one that they were saying well you know this is the stock market futures is is plummeting and bitcoin is plummeting and oil prices are plummeting all because of this new variant and then you know this morning i saw that article saying now's a good time to buy now's a good time to invest things are down let's let's invest uh how far will it fall uh there's been a lot of people uh in that in the know have been predicting for a while a 40 to 60% correction uh, of the stock market. Will that affect the overall economy? Maybe. Um it might, but certainly the overall economy is 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 much worse off than even the stock market. And if we start seeing more measures implemented, um, more restrictions, more lockdowns, especially if we start getting to things that are much more like an Australian style of lockdown, which I believe that they want. Uh, things could get pretty rough, folks. Um, I, I don't want to scare people, so I don't want to overhype things. But on the other hand, I don't want to downplay it to where you're not prepared. Uh, it's kind of difficult to try to find that happy medium. I mean, I know some sites, they're okay with hyping it. I, I don't feel good about doing that. But I do want you to be prepared. I do want you to take this serious because, I mean, look at look at New York. New York uh, has already implemented a state of emergency. Um, they're already implementing certain levels of restrictions, and they haven't even had their first case, confirmed case there at all, of this new variant. Uh, but they're saying they're doing it in preparations for how bad it's going to be. Um, is that just, uh, you know, one little, you know, off on their own state or is this uh, a sign of things to come? And if that is the case, uh, then we certainly should get ready because um, I believe that they they want this. They want uh, to be able to come down hard. Uh, they want to be able to implement uh, these policies. They want to be able to say, see, I told you so. I'll you know, all you people that's that's not gotten this and all you people that's refused to comply and all you people that's been fighting it, this is what happens when you do that. You're bad and now you're gonna take your punishment. Uh, that's what I suspect we're going to start hearing uh, as this, the momentum of this thing kind of builds. Uh, so folks, get ready, um, get your houses in order because uh, we've already we've already seen what they're capable of not just here in the United States, but in other countries. We've already seen, we know what they're capable of. We know what, what they're willing to do to implement their will upon us. Uh, all they kind of needed is, is, a, is a good excuse. And maybe this is that good excuse. We'll, we'll have to wait and see, but there's no reason why we can't get ourselves even more prepared, more geared up uh, and ready for it as, it as it starts to take effect. All right, folks, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.